unfortunately, this is what happens when you own a pet. And um, the reason she has this cone on is that two days ago, I woke up and her ear, which you can't see, was the size of a fucking balloon. And I had to go to the emergency vet again. And basically what's going on is she has, I guess, I can't remember the exact term, uh, it, whatever it is, there's a drain now in her ear because, like I said, this thing was like a, like, it actually felt like it was full of sand, like a water balloon or something like that. So, um, I got to deal with that, and, uh, again, you know, another major fucking vet bill. But, you just deal with it, it just comes on. I, I just deal with shit as it comes, and it ain't easy, and to be honest with you, the way things are sort of laying out right now, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I just got my, quote, property reevaluation from this fucking county, and it looks like I'm living in a McMansion. A foreclosure that I bought 13 years ago that was falling down is now a McMansion. And, of course, the, the property tax will go up accordingly. And it's like, the, the fucked up part is, my neighbor who has a bigger house and more property got a lower evaluation. So that just shows you how fucked up this whole thing is. But anyway, let's go back to the summer of sleaze, because Blanca's sort of sleepy here. And how about 1973, I think? Uh... Was it 73? Maybe it was 70. I don't know. It was Bill Lustig's first film under the pseudonym of Billy Bax. And it was a porn film. And it starred Sharon Mitchell as Claudia. This was Sharon's 18th uh, feature that she shot. And now she was established as, you know, a regular performer in adult films. So she got the lead over, over the, uh, the title. Um, the title of the film would lead you to believe it's a roughie, but it's not. It's kind of strange because it opens up with this dream sequence with Sharon laying on a massage table surrounded by three or four women, one of which is Long Jean Silver. So, she's in this whole deal where she wakes up with her disinterested husband and she goes to her tennis lesson. Her instructor is Kip, who is none other than Jamie Gillis. And they go out to lunch, and she pisses in uh, Kip's ear about, you know, her husband being non-attentive and all that wonderful shit. Well, it seems that Kip has a sideline. He's a pimp. And, of course, this sort of horrifies Claudia. And she's in this spa getting a massage when uh, Kip slips in the back door and slips her the old tube steak. So now she wants to do this whole thing. So her first trick is this short bald guy with glasses who comes into her room and looks at every room in the house and then spreads the sheet over a table and tells her to get up on it. Then he gets naked and puts on a cook's apron and hat and proceeds to make an ice cream sundae out of Claudia and lick it off. Then he puts some syrup on his rather small dick and has her suck it. Now I'm looking at this guy and this guy looks really familiar to me. And he was the guy who was the, the senator from New Jersey, who was the pedophile and the exterminator, and he was the head that was blown off and was being held in Frankenhooker's hands in Frankenhooker. Uh, his name's David Lippman, and he's been in a ton of shit, a ton of TV. He was in the remake of True Grit. He was in Week, Weekend at Bernie's 2. And I guess he started out, he's, he's credited here as Waldo Short, but he did two other porn films before he started doing exploitation and mainstream stuff. One was The Big Thumb, and the other one was Maraschino Cherry. So that's a kind of weird little segue. So then Claudia's next trick is this drag queen who comes in with a plastic sheet, and she, say, she says, what's this for? And he goes, oh, for the golden showers. Well, that's it for Claudia. She wants no part of that. She packs up. She's out the door. She goes home and surprises her husband, who was in bed with, guess who? Kip, as we see a money shot on somebody's ass, and I hope it isn't Kip's ass. But obviously her husband has been in bed banging Jamie Gillis as Kip, and as she opens the door, he turns around to Kip and goes, I thought you said she was out on a job. And then Claudia has this horrified expression on her face, and the credits roll. So I guess that was actually the violation of Claudia. So that's our show for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. 
Keep this poor kid in your thoughts because she's got to go for this for three weeks. I just hope I can take this cone off once this thing stops draining and just hope that she doesn't want to rip out. I think it's called a cannula or something like that. But anyway, well, that's our show for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll catch you on the flip side.